Hello everyone, it's Farkad here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to kill a wolf spider, a very easy way. And I'm doing it here, this is one of the spawn locations of the wolf spider. It may work on other ones, it did kind of work for the one under the oak tree, that we went around and got caught on a tree. Now what you'll need is a bow, and a lot of arrows depending on what difficulty you're playing on. On hard mode, this is what I'm playing, you'll need about 74 arrows to kill it, and you'll need eight pieces of clay to make clay foundations now what you do with these you place them fairly close to him place two right next to each other and complete them very quickly because as soon as you complete one you'll wake up so it appears that if you place anything near a creature in this game it'll wake up and you stand back a fair distance and he'll get stuck now there's a chance he might not get stuck and he might run around though i managed to get it three out of four times so if you save beforehand, you should be right. Now I thought about doing this with the improved bow, I'm not sure what the name of it is, but you need a spider fang to get it, and you can only get spider fangs from the wolf spider. The thing is, the normal bow is much easier to repair, so it's just a time thing. If you're willing to spend a bit of extra time, and only do half the damage, you'll save yourself some quartzite, which is quite rare from what I've found. Yes, this one took 73 or 74 arrows. After I picked them all up, it was 74, but I'm pretty sure I hit everyone, but oh well. And once that's done, you can scrap the brick foundations and you'll get six clay back. So it only costs you two clay and probably two woven fiber because that's what you'll need to repair the bow afterwards. You'll be able to do it in one hit as long as you have a fully repaired bow. Now in this instance, it didn't work for me. I completed the one on the right instead of the one on the left first. I don't know if that affected things or just the way I was standing, but he managed to run around. So make sure you save before you do this. Now I know this is cheesing it and some of you might not like it though, this is good for your first wolf spider kill, and especially on hard mode. Though this is also a good prod to the developers to work on the AI a little bit. Now with this one here, I managed to get it caught, and I was 99% sure that it was going to work, so I didn't bother finishing it off. Make sure you check if there's any other creatures around before you do this. Though from what I sent around this area, it's pretty quiet. Also something I noticed is that when you kill a wolf spider, there's a chance you can get one or two fangs. It seems to be more common you get two, though if you only get one, it might be worth reloading because that's double the kill. Now you can't really circle around the wolf spider and kill it that way. That's the way I actually like to kill most things, but wolf spiders jump back. Orb spiders do as well, the orb weavers, but not to the extent the wolf spider does. It's hard to close the gap. And on hard mode, even with decent armor, I'm pretty sure you're gonna get killed in one hit because of the poison effect. Even if you block, you're pretty much screwed. And this part here, you got stuck and started doing a little shuffle. Though it didn't mean anything, you were still stuck. The arrows don't despawn, but they do fall off. Now here, I decided to see how close I could get before he takes a swing. A wolf spider on hard mode will destroy a brick foundation in one hit. But I was able to get some of the arrows off him. If I stayed back further enough, I probably would have been able to keep going. But I kept taunting him because I was mainly testing out what he would do here. But yes, they do destroy the brick foundations in one hit. Which is quite surprising because I thought they'd be a bit more durable. Looks like it's not the case. But there you go. There's an easy way to take one down. And this could be done pretty much in the first couple of days of the game. If you're playing properly, I reckon you could kill one within half an hour of starting. Though, that's a bit excessive. I don't think you need it. Anyway, hopefully you found this useful. And if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Cheers.